So I've been playing around with a trick called Offshoot, which is a John Ratchabummer trick from the Hierophant uh, magazine. Uh, and I was inspired to look at it from a trick called Splits, I think, which is Dave Solomon's version. And if you uh, aren't on his blog you and you like card magic, you should definitely get on Dave Solomon's blog. I think his website is davesolomon.net. And um, basically, he'll send you a card trick every couple of weeks or every month, whatever it is. And they're always killer, always worth a look. Um, so, yeah, so I played around with his handling. I looked up the original one as well. And then I've got um, a little version of my own, which is actually, it looks like it's going to be really complicated, but it's actually really easy. There's only kind of two moves in it, and one of those is just repeated over and over. So, uh, yeah, it kind of works. And it's a great trick to bust out, particularly for either magicians or friends that have seen you do a fair bit of card magic, because it's quite unexpected. You feel like it's going to be a collector's multiple sandwich kind of thing, and it ain't like that at all. All right, so let's take a look at it now. So here we go, and this is the performance. So you start off with a deck of cards, and it's a borrowed, um, can be a shuffle deck as well. And you say, uh, before we start, I'm going to take out a whole bunch of cards. So I'm going to take out uh, the four jacks. I need my cards to be easy to remember because my memory is terrible, so that's why I'm using the jacks. You guys are going to have to do a little bit better, though, because you're going to have um, regular cards to pick and remember. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I'll leave the jacks over there, we'll come back to those in a moment. And then in the meantime, we're going to have four cards chosen, and I'm just going to deal cards down in a line like this. And if you've got four spectators with you, or four spectators on your Zoom call, as is the new normal now, uh, you can have them call stop at different times. Um, or if you're performing for less, you, you know, you can just have one person call stop and treat it all the same. So let's say someone shouts out stop there, and we'll use these four cards. Okay, so we've got the four, the king the 9, and the 10. That is all mighty fine. We're going to not only um, use the cards that you chose, but we're going to pick them all up and leave them exactly uh, where you put them as well. That's the idea here. Uh, so, uh, first person remembers the four of diamonds and commits that to memory. The second person remembers the king of spades, so you commit that one to memory as well. Uh, we're going to leave it right where it was. Uh, someone remembers the Nine of Clubs, which is a great card, and someone else remembers the Ten of Spades. Good luck, everybody, uh, remembering all that. Uh, and, of course, the Four of Diamonds as well. So what we're going to do, uh, we'll lose that Four of Diamonds in the pack. We'll just give the cards a couple of cuts. There we go. And the idea is to try and find all four uh, selections using my jacks. Now, watch very carefully. It's very fast. All we're going to do is cut the jacks into the pack. Give them one second, and instantly they barrage through the deck into four totally different places, and each one manages to find a single selection. And what we've got here is the Four of Diamonds, the King of Spades, the Nine of Clubs, and the Ten of Spades. Obviously, I cannot remember if those were the selections, but I'm going to check before I upload this to make sure those are the right ones. <laughs> um, so that's the trick. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you liked the uh, the sort of um, sort of offbeat plot that it's got. I love that kind of thing of the cards going in and suddenly firing everywhere. I think it looks really cool. Uh, there's lots of other handlings you could use as well to tweak it. And if you want to check out, like I say, check out Dave Solomon's one on his website. Uh, you can sign up for the um, newsletter on there, well worth doing. And the um, other place is Hierophant, and there's actually quite a few versions in Hierophant that you can look up. Most of them just use two cards, uh, so you have two, say, kings, which are your sandwich cards, and uh, they separate to find both selections. Uh, there's some gaffed ones in there, there's some regular ones as well, and two deck versions. Um, so that's worth a look if you like the plot. It makes a great finish for a sort of um, sandwich trick if, or a routine if you're going to do just two cards because you can have a sandwich the selections a couple of times and then separate to find them or something for a kicker finish as well. Uh, so I think that's all I've got to say about that. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Take care and we'll see you next time.